Howdy guys. Alright, so in this video uh, I'm just going to show you how to go and instantiate the HDA. Um, I have already installed the Houdini Engine version 2 uh, into my Unreal, and this is uh, Unreal version 425.3. Uh, I'm going to be upgrading to 426.1 here, point one here um, uh, for the next uh, props and all the uh, rest of the videos and stuff for Firewatch Project. So um, this one is just on 425 right now. So I've already installed it, and um, I've already gone ahead and dropped in the uh, cabinet HDA. And to do that, it's really simple. I just went to where I say... <coughs> <coughs> Save my HDA and uh, just drag and drop it into the content browser here, into my HDA folder. All right, and that's how you get it into uh, Unreal. It's pretty simple. One of the nice things about Houdini Engine uh, version 2 now is you can instantiate at the origin. And so you just hit that and boom, you're ready to go. So now I've got my cabinet here all ready to go. And uh, yeah, so now we have control over all the parameters that we had inside of uh, Houdini proper. So I can change my beveling amounts here. We can change the width of the entire thing. Uh, we can change the depth, make it much wider, skinnier. Yeah, we can change that width thickness. That's for these bottom pieces here. It's not really visible. I might actually end up just getting rid of that. It's not really um, that visible there. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, we got our height for the cabinets there. Front peak. Yeah, everything's working out nicely. And it's super speedy. The uh, Houdini Engine version 2 is way speedy. I dig it. All right, we can change our cabinet count as well. And we have control over all of our overrides as well. So I'm going to do some overrides here. So let's say I want uh, prim 0 here uh, to be doors. Yeah. And then let's make another one. And I want prim 1 to be... Actually, let's yeah, just make more drawers here. Beautiful. And then uh, we can do another one here. And we'll do two. And I'll make this one a uh, decorative element. Now, I didn't add the colors to that one, so I'm going to go back to doors here. We'll do the double doors. Pretty cool. And then make it a little bit uh, less in width here. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Cool. I'm really digging all the collapsibles too. We can change the height of that counter, change that front peak, get a little bit more of an overhang there. Uh, we can turn off our debug numbers. Boom. And we can go and change all of our colors as well. So if you wanted to go pink, maybe like a blue. Yeah, pretty sweet. So then when you're uh, ready and you're happy with your particular asset here, um, you can just go up to the Houdini Engine um, options or the rollout here. And all you need to do is um, send this to a particular folder. So you need to go and make sure your, your bake folder is set to a particular folder. In this case, it's currently set to the default Houdini Engine folder. So it's going to go into here into a bake folder. That's not really what I want it to have happen. I want it to go to my project. So I'm going to update this with the uh, firewatch uh, you gotta make sure it matches too let's get rid of that queue there and then we want to go to objects and then let's there's props and then cabinets so we'll do props and then cabinets like so and then uh, we just hit bake so then you'll have um, your initial, you still have the procedural one, right? So it hangs on to that, but now you have the static mesh. And it's just a static mesh like anything, so you just double click on the static mesh here. And uh, now it's you know completely game ready. Super cool, all ready to go. And yeah, so here it is, right there. So now you just have to go and rename it. So I just uh, call this something like counter cabinet 002. And now it's just any, like any other asset in Unreal. 
pretty cool stuff. All right, so with that, I'm going to close out this uh, series, and I will do the textures, and I'm going to mess around with a couple other properties, so um, when I update those, I'll show you guys what I do. One, one thing I want to do is, after working with the tool, um, I want to add to the cabinet, I want to add a randomizer for this um, override, so that'll require some Python. And so I, I thought you guys might like seeing that, how I would go and randomize um, overrides just to get random selections. And really I did it because after, you know, placing or creating, you know, I think it was around six or seven of these, I realized it was getting kind of laborious even to just go and change those things. And so it'd be cool to have like some randomizer in there to start with. And then I can go through and just uh, switch things out. And so that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks so much.